Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. So, in the previous episode we got a bunch of mechanism stuff done. And we got ourselves the Ancient Bee. Uh, all the bees are out right now, I literally just slept so they all pop out at that point. We now have, I think, three Ancient Bees. I've left this running for a little while. Um, and I've also done a tiny little bit. And that is, I added all the combs into my little processing system down here. So, uh, there you go, you can see them right there. We've got lapis, redstone, gold, no, that's not golden, that's glowing. And we've got the ancient combs right there as well. So the ancient combs are the ones that are currently going through. Don't remember what the ancient combs give us, is it scrap? It is scrap, okay. That's fine. Only a 10% chance, but it's still pretty good. I've chucked a bunch of speed upgrades in this, so it's super quick. Should probably do something about the honey in this as well, because uh, this does produce honey. Like, not just like right there. It was, you know, the beeswax stuff, but you also get honey from it, like the liquid. So I could pipe that out. I can't, can't be asked. I think I'll just leave that for now, but... Yeah, uh, this is currently just pulling all of these out. So once it's done with the ancient combs, it will probably do these two first. So if we've got any more diamond or emerald, it will then move on to those. And then it will do like the rest of them. So it's making its making its way through them quite nicely. I think we are getting a bunch of scrap then. Okay, not a bunch, but we got 10 now. So not too bad, not too bad. We'll get there. I think um, when those ancient bees breed up a little bit, that'd be pretty good. But I want to stay on the topic of bees. So I made a couple of bee cages. Not the same as the sturdy bee cages. These are like um, reusable pokeballs right here. Whereas these are one-time use. So I can pick up a bee with one of these. And the yeah, when I release the bee, uh, the thing gets destroyed. But you can make these with just a bit of honey. So they are they are pretty good. They are not bad. But I think today I want to go and get myself a draconic bee to begin with. So that means we will go over to the end. And I want to get the wither bee. And maybe get an oldemodium bee by the end of the episode. I think that's probably a good task for us to hit. So... I think what we should do is we should start off by getting ourselves a skeletal bee. Now, there's not an amazing amount of information about this, and it always confuses me. But if I make an advanced beehive, well, you need a beehive to begin with, so there's one of those. Your first beehive? No, it isn't, but okay. Um, we need a quickie campfire. And then all I need then is some oak planks. So I must be out of oak right now. So if I just lob this in like that and then... There we go, got ourselves an advanced beehive. Our first ever advanced beehive. JK, JK. Uh, I probably didn't click this beforehand. Or oh, these are new quests. I think it's probably new, right? Oh, you get a sturdy one from that. Oh, you should definitely look at the quests. A couple of uh, honeycomb right there. Again, if you want to start with bees, probably the best thing to do is go and find some of those trees that have a lot of honeycomb in them. Uh, but what we want to do with this is we don't want to upgrade this whatsoever. We need to find an area where it's going to be good for this. It needs to be dark and it needs to be chunk loaded. So uh, plot that there, turn the lights off and then right at the end here. Right, I'm just going to block them in. So yeah, just like the neon cuckoo bee, what's going to happen is the skeletal bee can just like spawn because it's got somewhere that it can like nick the house of another bee. 
It needs to be in like pure darkness. So F7 gives you this overlay. I think that's good enough. I might have to go take the torches out that are down there. Oh, and that reminds me, somebody mentions that you can press F9 and you get the chunk boundaries, but I don't... Oh, those chunk boundaries are so subtle. If I go upstairs... Those are way more subtle than the uh, the F3G ones. Oh, I like that. Oh, and you... oh, nice. That one's way better. There you go, turn it off. Cool. Um, right, anyway, so now all we have to do is leave that, and it is hopefully in a chunk-loaded area. And uh, with it being chunk-loaded, that means that they should spawn. We'll have to go check on it later. But for now, let's go and get... Uh, is it the end ship we want to visit, or is it... I want to go to the end portal. go this way. I think around here somewhere we should be able to find what the heck is that thing over there? Supplementary if I remember. Nothing here but monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I need to go find a draconic bee and I think they spawn around where the the dragon is. Uh, ooh, there's seems to be something over here. Is that a draconic bee? Well that was easy enough. Got ourselves a draconic bee. Sweet. Okay, that's us done in the end then. <laughs> I'm going to make a couple more of the beehives real quick. And I'm going to go set up my little bee area downstairs for... Well, I need to accommodate a couple more bees, don't I? So I'm going to do that right now. And there we go. So I've got the uh, draconic bee all set up in this side. I'm going to put the skeletal bee on this side. My ancient bees are doing their thing. All good. I think over on this side is where I want to put the uh, three metals. So maybe all the modium on over here. Then I want maybe vibranium in the middle and then unobtainium. Maybe all the modium in the middle because it's the most important right now. And then vibranium, unobtainium, something like that. Sounds about right, doesn't it? So, first off, we need to go and get, whilst we wait, uh, that's a point, Wither Rose. How do we get the Wither Rose? Oh, I need to turn off F3H. Yeah, get rid of that. This looks to me like I should just go and get a pig or something and do a mob yoinker. I do have a zombie villager because I want to cure that one at some point. I think that'd be a cool adventure. But I need to go find some sort of creature that I can pop in there with the uh, the wither. I'm sure there's someone around. Why is there so many endermen? What the heck? Having a little build over here. Uh, I'm not going to do a donkey because I've got too much health. Uh, let's have a look over here. That one should do. Sorry, sheepy. Oh, if I can grab you, that is. Right, now I can go into the mining dimension, turn on my wither killer, because I haven't fixed that one yet. I should have, but I didn't. Here we go. And I believe... Ooh, I need to turn that off first. I believe... Uh... Yeah, the explosion should kill... Yeah, that's going to be a lot right there. So just before that one gets to the top, I'll plonk the sheep down. Is that not going to kill the sheep? There we go, with a raise. Oh my goodness, one of them got out. I caught the wither. Oh, that was close. I've got a wither in my mob yoinker. Uh, mm, yes, about that. Uh, no, it's over here, isn't it? I need to figure out how to get rid of those two withers that are just sat in my... <laughs> sat flying around up there. Um, I'm going to get a couple of golden apples. 
stick those in next. And that should, fingers crossed, protect me a little bit. I'm trying to jog around to get, get my hunger down. Anyway, I'm sure a bit of uh... Oh, hello. There might be some over here. Have you gone all the way up? Yeah, you have. Excellent. Thank you for that. You know what? Let's do a slash home. I'm going to make some more mob yoinkers. And then, oh my goodness, I'm going to die. Excellent. I'm right there. This is my first death in ages, to be fair, so that did pretty well. I did lose a bunch of levels, and someone did mention you should spend your levels to keep your experience. Really should have done that, shouldn't I? Oh, blimey. Right. Uh, they knocked off my helmet. I'm back. I'm back, baby. You were all the way up the top, weren't you? There you are. Right, that should be all the withers dealt with right there. Except the one that's stuck. There's one stuck right here. Oh, poop. I might die again, because... I am going to die again. I don't have a bucket on me, do I? Oh, I do. Should take some milk with me next time. This is a double death episode. I died and got a wither rose. That's pretty good. That's what I was looking for. Nice. <laughs> Silver linings. Silver linings, everyone. Uh, I need to somehow untrap this wither. Are these all full up still? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to take all of the wither skulls out of here. Stick them in there. I'll take the soul sand as well, because why not? Um, how do I poke him out of there? There we go, that's how you do it. That's how you get things done. Not really, because I died a bunch of times. Look at the mess that they made. Flipping heck. They didn't touch my redstone, though. So uh, this just did quite well. And my chunk destroyer is in my bag. so Because I haven't put it back down yet. I should put it back down, and we should start getting more stuff. But for now, we're still processing all the stuff we got previously. So it is all good. Right, it's been a while, so should we go check on the uh, the skeletons down here? We might have some zombies as well. That's their name, zombie. Still nothing. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to be around, but I thought if they were chunk loaded, it should be fine. Maybe if I go and check in here, they might have a couple of bees. No. This is why people think that they don't exist. Like, it's really difficult to get them because zombie. I died in, in the exact same place twice. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, remove, <laughs> remove. And nothing happened. Right, well, that was interesting. We got a bunch of mob yoinkers full of withers right now. Uh, and we've got ourselves a wither rose, which I believe I can... Can I stick it in? Oh, I thought there was some way of uh, getting a wither rose. Like, sticking it in a botany pot? It might still work, even though there's no JEI for it. I don't see it growing, so I'm not entirely sure that would work. The seed can't grow on the current soil. Ooh. I wonder if there's another soil I can use. Maybe um, mycelium or something like that. That might work. I'll leave it for now. We'll come back to that later. 
But we've got at least one, and we can use... Well, we've got two in our system. Rose. So, one I can use to feed my uh, skeletal one, when we finally get one. And the other one... I can use as its flower. I don't know if that thing's in here, that if you walk over a wither rose, you'll get... It is in here. Amazing. You'll get a um, bit of wither on you. Is that is that actually vanilla mechanics? Not entirely sure. I did just realise that these combs aren't actually being pulled into the system. I need to get a puller module. Yeah. I might get four more puller modules and we'll set that up. Right, so I've swapped over the... Um, oh, what, what's it called? The sender module from this one here. So this is the one sending all the bottles. I swapped it over to use this distribution module because that's just going to send to all eight of our hives that we've got down here. Uh, and then, the, yeah, this one is still only pulling from... Yeah, there we go. This one's pulling from just the four that we haven't set up yet. No, that we have set up already. So now, one of those. We've done that one. Got to watch out for that with the rose. Done that one. And then there's this one over here as well. We can stick that one in here like that. So that should pull. Yeah, there you go. It's just pulled the Draconic Bees stuff. There's only three in here still. I might make a few more Bath Bee upgrades. Uh, and then I can stick one in here. I don't know about the Wither Bee. Can you breed with yourselves? This species cannot breed with themselves. Excellent. <laughs> that kind of tells me that we do need to get like a bunch more Wither Roses. I'm going to have a quick sleep because it's dark. Right, I'll turn the brightness up in post for this, but we've got ourselves a zombie, the one that we don't want. <laughs> the zombie, I don't think... Yep, just one zombie. Don't think this one breeds with anything, and it all it gives us is... Oh, it does. Grave bee. Well, that gives us grave dust. Not overly useful. I mean, we could use it for some stuff, I suppose, but we can get it normally anyway, just by killing stuff. Book of Recycling, Book of Repairing. This one's pretty good, Book of Disenchantment, but we do need um, a grave in the first place, so at Core Rail. Ooh. We need this thing, Essence of Undeath. But it's a really difficult thing to get. This has got a super low chance of dropping from undead creatures. I do think we should just go kill a bunch of undead creatures. Try and find like a really weak zombie spawner somewhere. And then just have, have them. There are other ways of disenchanting items or pulling the enchants off an item. So the first way we might look into is... Pneumaticraft. So Pneumaticraft has got like this pressure chamber, so you have to build it up using, it's a multi-block. And if you get some minus pressure in there, you can actually suck the enchantments off of an item, stick them on a book, and then you can use that book for whatever you want. Plus we haven't done anything with Pneumaticraft this series yet, so we should definitely do that. Uh, we've got a couple of items. Uh, oh, proper annoys me that the sounds are knackered right now, but anyway, uh, whilst I'm thinking about it, Draconic Bee, let me just check. Draconic Bee. It doesn't say they can't breed with themselves, so I'm guessing the Bath Bee would work. There we go. Bath Bee upgrade. So I'm going to make a few of those, and then we'll, uh, Go and have another look, see if we've got the skeletal bee, because that's all we're waiting on now. So I've been waiting probably, I don't know, like half an hour, something like that, for one of these skeletal thingies to uh, to spawn in. 
in the meantime, I was just looking around to see what I could do. I have a little plan on what I want to do, but we can zip down here. I did put a load of uh, white tulips and some dirt and stuff down here. Just in case they do spawn in, we can at least get a couple of combs, maybe. Gives them something to pollinate on. In the meantime, why don't we wang a bunch of this food in our backpack? Because it should eat it for us. To die for. Brilliant. Uh, this should be enough to get us all of our hearts back as well. Ooh. What did I eat that did an explosion? Interesting. Oh, was it that thing that I just ate from ours? One of the ours fruit. That would make sense. Little tiny explosion. One of these bad boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> you can see it from the name, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, just running around and stuff, whenever we use up our hunger, we should end up getting a bunch more hearts. That's the plan, at least. Still have not got this flipping bee, though. I think in the meantime, though, uh, I did just go check on my bees down here. And over in this corner, we've got two draconic bees. I think one of them's a child still. Yeah, this one. And I put three ba bee upgrades. I've actually taken the upgrades out of this one because we've got six ancient bees now. And as I said, I don't have the skeletal bee yet, but... Fingers crossed soon we'll get the skeletal bee. Uh, which one is the Aldermodium bee? This one is brilliant. It's the Withered bee. <laughs> there is something we can do in the meantime, to be fair. And that is we can go to the other using the destru destruction gadget-y thing. Uh, this bad boy. And we can set this. I think I have a hotkey for this. I can't remember why I put it on though. Settings menu, I set to 8. So if I hold that down. That's not how you do it. You do a sh... Oh, excellent. Uh, train went by. As I got, learn to fart. What does that mean? Finally release all those nasty gases. Click. Uh, <laughs> evil craft, brilliant. Probably ate an evil craft thing, maybe? I don't know. Weird. But anyway, if we go back to the other. Now, I don't know the exact, like, depth, but if you shift and click. Have I got a buff? I swear I just saw some particles. <laughs> I did some particles when I uh, do shift. What the heck is that? Oh, brilliant. Uh, right, anyway, shift and then click, and then we can do up 8. No, let's do up 16. Depth all the way. Left, we want to do 8. Right, we want to do 8. Confirm. And then we can just click, and that deletes that entire area. And we can just do this for a while. Oh, blimey, there's skeletons that fell down. Eh. So I've started doing some destruction, and I destructioned id. Destroyed? Destroyed in that direction. And then I went and looked at my video, my previous video, about like where I found vibranium ore. And I came up with, in this direction, if I fly over here, I haven't actually found any more vibranium yet. This is just something interesting, I suppose. If I look right over here. Look at that. Some soul lava right there. Don't think soul lava is used for anything right now, but... Soul lava. You get a soul lava comb. How'd you get that? Soul lava bee. Bucket of soul lava on a ghostly bee. It's a soul lava bee. Interesting. Um, have a drink of that. Why not? 
and take one of those. I still haven't found any more vibranium, so I might have to go... I completely forgot that you can get it not just in... I'll tell you what, slash home it. You can get it in the... Uh, in the nether, right? So I should probably go and try and get it from the nether rather than the other. It's uh, because the... What do you want to call it? The other packs that we've been playing recently, so To the Skies, for example, all the Mod 7 To the Skies, that one had no nether, so you had to get it from the other. So I was like, oh yeah, I've got to find it in the other if I can. But no, it's the nether, obviously. <laughs> so we're going to go find it in the nether. Right, found myself a warp forest. It was quite far away, even though we did have one. Eh. Yes, thank you. We did have a warp forest like quite close to us. It wasn't good because it was like a small warp forest and it was not at our level. So at least at this level, we should be able to find some. Uh, is it warp, warp forest is still this way, apparently. Using my nature's compass, 15. Eh. Do a bit of fine as well, apparently. And now it's saying back, so over in this direction, so around this area. I also changed this a little bit, so it's down 1 and up 15 instead. You can't make it any bigger than that. So if I do that, it would just say, nah, it's too big. But around this area, we should find some more vibranium. Fingers crossed. Doesn't look good so far. Um... We might have to find the, like, chunk boundaries and stuff for it. Get our chunk destroyer out. So we can get out the top here and then put it on top. It's probably the best thing to do. Uh, if we don't find any just from me zipping about and destroying a bunch of stuff, then that's probably what we'll end up doing. Yeah, it kind of looks like that's what we're going to have to end up doing. So I have created a new waystone called Above the Nether. I just had a bit of um, ancient soul berries, so it made my uh, night vision come on. So I am going to put down the Chunk Destroyer, and we are just going to Chunk Destroy a bunch of areas. The reason I put myself up there is because then the Chunk Destroyer can't destroy it, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. And then... Let's do five in each direction, and, oh poop, I did not bring an ender chest with me, so I am going to put the destruction gadget away, because I don't want to use that anymore, and we are going to go slash back, should be all we need, or one of those bad boys, I still fart all the time for some reason. you got to let the, uh, what do you call it, it's these things, like, build. But once they are built, we should get a bunch of items. And there's all the items. Flipping heck. I'm going to get so many items, actually, thinking about it. Yeah. We don't want that, because that's going to fill up our system. So those are the three that I think are gonna start. We're gonna start getting a bunch of. Uh, fingers crossed that like fixed the issue. Might not have done, but it is fine. We're gonna get loads of blue cobblestone. Excellent. Uh, we could always sort that out later. Okay, I think everything is in order. Everything's in place. Uh, I added a bunch more drawers and put void upgrades on them. So these are the extra bits that we got like a ton of. So I don't even know what this is. Scoria. Okay. Got a ton of blackstone as well. It's quite a nice building material to be fair. Uh, I probably should have kept... I'm still farting by the way. I don't know why. What did I eat? But yeah, probably should have kept like a bunch of magma blocks because you can wash magma blocks. In fact, I'm going to take, like, uh, let's grab one more stack. There we go. You can put these through the washing thing. So I'm going to turn my magnet off quick. Uh, 
chuck those in like that, land up here. Let's get this out so that way we will sleep through the night and get rid of this rain. There we go. So I believe you wash these and then they turn into obsidian. I could be wrong though. I think. Come on. There you go, obsidian. That's one way to get obsidian. Gotta make sure to put my magnet back on. Um, and the last thing that I did right here was, yeah, I set up the old, uh, put the import bus with a bunch of acceleration cards on every single side. I put it right underneath me, right here. It's coming off one face, so we've got six channels. Probably shouldn't have put it there, but eh, it's fine. It's working. It really, really screwed our <laughs> storage up. It, it was a bit touch and go there to begin with. But now, if I pop into the nether and fly back over to my little portal, well, little area where I've chunk destroyed like a bunch of stuff, I should be able to find some vibranium, hopefully. So, there we go. There's above the nether. That's our... Um, waystone thing. We kind of need to get another waystone. Um, I've seen a little bit over there. I mean, I'm standing on some, so this is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think this is the way that we find vibranium. The only issue is I kind of want to be... I don't want to fly over her again because it was kind of a pain. So, I'm going to go get another waystone. There you go. There's my other waystone. I also went up there and I turned off. Wow. I picked up my chunk destroyer. Uh, so I should probably have brought a block with me uh, and then I can stick this underneath and we can mine a little bit of this. Although I'm tempted not to mine it at all because, eh. okay, that's not where I wanted to put you, but okay. We really need to get some fortune on here. So maybe we, uh, yeah, I think we go get fortune first. But you know what? I think I am going to leave it there for this episode. Did quite well. We should probably check if we've got our uh, B first before we uh, end the episode off. Because if we've got it, we can at least get some wither stuff. Oh, there's a B in here. Zombie. Flipping neck. Another zombie. And another zombie. Uh, I'm just looking for this skeletal bee unless they've changed it i've just checked and uh, i have no idea uh does it say on the zombie nope doesn't say how you get it on there either i think it will probably say in the productive bees book there we go uh advanced no uh this one okay never mind items genetic bees Okay, might not be this thing. We might need the Bpedia, or whatever it's called. Oh. Is that a different mod? Uh, it could be the other B mod, which I always forget the name of. So, I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to find out that either. But yeah, let's call it there for today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. Let's uh, have a look at the stats whilst we're here. Uh, 2.5. Flipping egg. That's uh, quite a lot right there. <laughs> right, well, thank you for watching, thanks for joining, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye. So, not much to report today, other than I've cut all the arc well, all the architraves for the office and the bedroom, and most of the ones for the uh, bathroom as well. Now, last time what we did was we nailed them in, but I don't have the nailer anymore, the pneumatic nailer gun thing. So instead, what I'm going to do is I've got these like clamps and I'm going to squirt a bit of glue. I don't know if I should squirt it up on here or on the architraves themselves. So let me just put that one down. So we've got these and... Yeah, they do. I think that one does fit perfectly if I push it down a little bit. Get it so it, it like pushes the carpet down and everything. Uh, but yeah, if we get that 
proper squared up and in the right place. And I take the door off here. I need to take the door off anyway. So we can scrape this out. Because this right now is too far forwards. It needs to go back slightly. Yeah, we need to... Uh, yeah, glue a little bit on here. And then I'm just going to clamp them in place. And then you see on this bit at least there's like loads of uh, plaster. Once this is in place and we've got it at the area we want it to be, I'm just going to run a Stanley knife down here and cut that little bit out. And then we'll just repaint over that bit. Uh, the other thing we've done is I'm going to go into the bathroom right now. Uh, and there is a, a marge right there. God, blimey, it's quite fresh in here. I've got some paint. I say we, Marge did all of this. So, <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of painting involved, like all the way around here. It's all painted all the way up there. Above the shower as well, it's all painted. Down there as well. Yeah, we're making progress this week because we've got the week off. 